Lila, here are two weights with a thin wire between them. I'm going to put the loop here through this uh, hole in the piece of wood. You get one of those ice cubes, put it right on top of the hole. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to let the weights down so the wire is resting right on top of the ice cube. Let's let that sit there for a minute. All right. Have you ever noticed when ice cubes sit around, they sometimes get stuck together? Yeah. Have you any idea why? Could it be the pressure? That's right. It's the pressure. How do you make a nice icy snowball? Well, you pack it. Pack, pack it. And the more you pack it and the harder you pack it, why the icier it gets. Well, the reason for that is the tiny little snow crystals in the snow, when you push on them, they in effect melt. Same thing with ice. When you push them together just a little bit, the, sur the surfaces between them two melt. Then what happens when the pressure is released? It freezes? It freezes back up again, yes. So in fact, you should make a ice cube snowball out of two ice cubes. If you're really strong, here you take those two and we're gonna squeeze them together for 20 seconds and see if we can make them stick together by putting enough pressure on. And by the way, the same thing is true of a glacier. The tremendous pressure of the ice melts it and that's what makes it move forward. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There you see. You made a nice ice cube snowball. You want some towel? Yes, Let's please. See. Here. Now you're quite a skater too, right? Yeah. Okay. That's why I put that piece of wire over there on the ice cube because that sort of represents the runners of your skate. Now see what's happened to it? When we started, it was way up on top. In it's fact, going when, through. Yeah, bring your finger over the top. The wire is now down in. So what happens is the pressure of the wire gets on the ice cube. Yeah. It melts, right? Yeah. And then what happens when the pressure is released? It freezes. It freezes, so that could be the runner of your ice skate. As a matter of fact, think about it. You think maybe that you're, you're ice skating, you say, right? Yeah. Okay, but think about it. When all the pressure of your body goes on to one of the runners, you're putting pressure on top of the ice. So what happens to it? It melts. Right, and when you skate away? It freezes. That's what makes those marks on the ice. And you're actually skating on a very thin film of water. Then actually I'm a water skater, right? Right. 